Hey guys and welcome back. I'm going to start this video just with a little uh, scrapyard shopping. I went to uh, one of the diners uh, down in that town, next town over. And there's a scrapyard over there that allows you to go pick real quick. So I walk through, I don't know, about once every two weeks I kind of walk around. Grabbed two things. One is was this um, bow spring compressor with a, uh, a ratcheting head set up. It's got a button release over there. More for larger uh, size uh, valve keeper removing, removing tools. And uh, that's the end of that. That was five bucks. And just uh, two days ago, we have a uh, garden hose reel that had decided to spring its uh, bejesus apart. And uh, it's hard to find a decent one of those reels. You know, they, they sell those rubber made ones you see at Walmart. They're made out of plastic. It feels like the handle's going to snap off in your hand. I tried to find the old metal style ones. And again, there was one of those in the uh, scrapyard. So it got a little beat up handles bent and, and hitting the body. Not that we can't fix that. And it doesn't look like it's any big deal. But uh, the coupler is generally the most common fail point. And I put my thumb over that right there. I blew into there and you can feel air leaking somewhere in between. So I figured we'll take a minute and we'll try to take it apart and see if we can cure that. And uh, we can use that for uh, the one that is uh, crapped out right now and uh, have it be on the tougher side. So uh, let me get you set in the scan, uh, stand and uh, we'll get that taken apart and see if we can find like a burned up O-ring. Let's see if we can get that sucker out of there. Just has a snap ring holding it. And hopefully they're O-rings and not some other kind of Fancy something something. Didn't launch it across the room. I would say they look pretty dry. I think that's the other part of it too, is just that the water rops so much. It looks like I might have wiped it off. There was looked like there was a bridge in one spot right there. What do you think? A little scotch bright on this guy. We'll pop those off and we'll probably do the same. Maybe a, a brass wire or a wheel will kind of clean this surface up. And uh, we'll just try putting two something somethings on there that I have in my stash and see if uh, that will take care of it. If not, it could be leaking here or here. But generally, I would, I would suspect that. That's where it does all the work. Could even be here. Can we, uh, <laughs> can I double thumb it? Yep, it's leaking. It's leaking over there. Still gonna change the O-rings though. I think that crack might have something to do with it. I think that might be a leak. Okay, you can feel it on the inside too. So we don't even need that at all anyway. This is just gonna go on the right line of the garden hose. Let's see if we can stab at them and get them off. Looks like it's round on the bottom side, but then wore flat when it's spinning. Let's see if we can do a little brass on brass action. We got a nice new wheel on there. Watch your eyes, I warned you. Purdy. Yeah, I got a little bit of we'll do fluid film. This is just scotch break. See if we can uh polish them up.
Looks like there's actually a ridge. In there for the seal to sit, either that or the thing spun there so many times it's uh, made a ridge. So I grabbed a couple O-ring kits. These are the two that were on there. I think we're just kind of poking hope around a little bit. See, I'm not even sure what would be the best rubber for holding up the friction too. A little larger and overall diameter. How's that going to be? That's too sloppy. Too sloppy. Let's go. The set looks like it took a fall and they're all mixed together. Let's go and try that one. Two of those. Let's see how that does. <laughs> I guess that one's staying there. <laughs> Yeah, see if we'll walk right over the top of it. Make sure that I am not putting a used one on it. Mm -hmm. we'll roll that up into place. And I had some um, marine lube. I can't find it. This is dielectric grease. So I figure maybe we'll try that as a uh, coating. I don't know if that helps or hinders. You figure it's got 50 PSI. I don't know if putting a lube there would make water try to want to squeeze around it easier. But I'm looking at it from the point that when you spin the hose, how much drag is going to be on it and if you're going to gall the, you know, the rubber up again. So let's try it this way. Um, again, I, I actually don't even think it was leaking from there. But let's see. It's got a lot of drag on it. That's good. How long did that last? And what I'm going to do, in case these rings do burn out faster than the other ones, I'm going to go hang the two that I took off on a nail. And then if, you know, three months from now it's, it's pissing out, I'll, I'll try putting the same two old rings back in. But I think that should hold us for there. So I'm going to get this thing out of there and fix that handle. Probably don't need any lube in there. Would it hurt? Eh, not sure. Might have to bust that sucker out. Let's see if it'll unthread though. So got that o-ring in there too that's good yeah but that's got a crack right through it there's your problem let's go fix that handle that's probably where i got thrown out of the truck into the scrap yard so bang myself in the head what can we do to tighten that up does that still spin what we can do to tighten that up is just tighten that up yeah, I know. I'm not putting the right size wrench on it. Calm down. See if we get that guy to go square. If I slip off and I punch myself. Feels pretty good. I think uh, maybe we'll give it a shot of um, fluid film for lube. Not bad for five bucks and 10 minutes of work. And there's your old one. You see it's got a plastic coupler on it. Let's see how the other one does. See if that can uh, hold itself a little bit better. And I just turned the water on. Let's see, what we got. Hopefully, that's just fluid film. 
I think so. I think it's a little bent, but that shouldn't hurt anything. I'm gonna go take a second and we'll reel that hose up and uh, that'll make it spin around about 50 times and see how that holds up. I got no place to put you in for a camera. You're kind of in the jungle right here. So I'll turn you back on in a second. Yeah, let's see if I'll plop you in the weeds. That might work. Rolls up nicer than the other one. Let's wait until we get some. Hopefully, both hoses fit. And for the next hose. Almost there. Right there. All right. So, watch your head. I think we'll be okay. Here's the old one. It was got the plastic, and it was due. It was getting pretty rotted. And this one came out of the um, side of the road scrap bin. I did the same thing, I replaced them. But again, this is a plastic one. Steal the wheels, we're gonna trash the rest. At least you guys want it. <laughs>